A woman has many faces as she goes through her life. It's like we need more than one hairdo. We have many, many changes in the evolution of our lives. We have, we learn, and we grow, we view life differently, and life views us differently. If you act like you know what you're going, you can do anything you want, except neurosurgery. Ava Gardner was the most beautiful woman in the world, and it's wonderful that she didn't cut up her face. She addressed aging by picking up her chin and receiving the light in a better way. And she looked like a woman. She never tried to look like a girl. I tried for modeling work but it was a bit slow and that's when I took a part-time job at McDonald's. It gave me income while I was waiting for my big break and at the very least I could eat. I did a guest appearance on the practice and loved it. Every time I exercise, I do something different based on which areas need to get in motion. Peace does exist. It exists in your heart and soul. There was a point in my 40s when I went into the bathroom with a bottle of wine, locked the door, and said, I'm not coming out until I can totally accept the way that I look right now. I like being a woman, not a girl. I'm not big on plastic surgery for me but I don't fault it for someone who wants it for them. You have to do what makes you feel good, but it's not my thing. I like porterhouse steak, ribeyes, and New York strip. This works for me because I have very low cholesterol and low blood pressure. It's not good for everyone, you have to talk to your doctor about that. I also eat fish and cheese. I like clean food prepared as simply as possible. I don't think Julia Roberts is as innocent as her image suggests. You have to be a really smart cookie to create an image as clean and pure and on the money as hers. It's my experience that you really can't lose when you try the truth. People don't change their behavior unless it makes a difference for them to do so. This idea that being youthful is the only thing that's beautiful or attractive simply isn't true. I don't want to be an ageless beauty, I want to be a woman who is the best I can be at my age. I was in Woody Allen's Stardust Memories in 1980. It was only a bit part and I didn't get to speak but I felt that I was in a real movie and heading where I had always wanted to be. You know, sometimes I feel well and vital in the world, and sometimes I just feel so distressed I want to pull my hair out by the roots. Dior makes the best lip glosses going. I'm nuts about them, especially the clear one with the silver sparkles. I got addicted to Dior Show Mascara, too. It makes you look like you're wearing false eyelashes. It's the only one that rivals Maybelline. I think I am aging, but I'm enjoying the process. If you want to have plastic surgery or cosmetic surgery, live it up, go ahead and have it. But if you don't want to have it, don't have it. I think we have to be not so afraid of scarcity, we have to be willing to give away all things. I couldn't stop looking at the award when I received it. It was as if my whole career flashed in front of me, from beginning to the moment I was handed the Golden Globe. Divorce is hard and painful and complicated, and something you have to grow through. I feel more grounded and more settled than I ever have. I don't know whether that is to do with my spirituality or whether I'm wiser about life, but as you age you become more selective about what you listen to, devote your time to and who you hang out with. I understand what it's like to go to hospitals and there's no medicine, and the best thing you have to give the patients is compassion. I eat right, I sleep, I work out, I'm happy. I have a beautiful family, nice friends, I choose the good things, I choose the happy, healthy things. I don't choose the bad, unhealthy, unhappy things. People are afraid of changing, that they're losing something. They don't understand that they are also gaining something. People are really emotionally affected by actors. And it's hard to know how to behave in a way that doesn't impose or withdraw. Because everybody wants your attention. Everywhere you go, you know. I have known for some time that I can meet any man I want but that does not mean that I want to meet anyone. I certainly don't like being forced into situations. I certainly think Halle Berry's a wonderful role model. She's a terrific stepmother and has shown that in so many beautiful ways and has made such enormous strides for women culturally and such great successes as an actress and philanthropist. I've made humanitarian causes and my children much more my priority than the Hollywood scene being liked and getting movie parts. I am big into aromatherapy. I feel like war should occur only for the most vital and necessary reasons, and only then. I can go completely berserk with the makeup, depending on the event. I'm currently in this very mod stage. I wear false lashes and color on my eyelids. I'm really liking shiny eyelids in copper, rose, gold, or silver. 
I don't think you ever think that you have made it but I did take a look at myself one day and think back to when I was a little girl and it was nice to know that I had at least made it this far. I knew what I wanted to do even when I was a little girl. I like to drive with my knees. Otherwise, how can I put on my lipstick and talk on the phone? I don't really want to be fat, so I stop before I am. I'm not a vegetarian, but I might go through a phase when I'm not interested in eating protein for a week or so, and then I might go through a phase when I eat nothing but steak. I wear a Veda energizing oil. I am big into aromatherapy. I always thought I would adopt. Even when I was young, I used to look up how to adopt. Before I was a year old I walked and talked and I was even potty trained. When I started going to school I think I got on everyone's nerves because I used to ask adult questions rather than settle for the stuff usually fed to kids. I like to be bought flowers and taken out for dinner. I like a man to be a gentleman. I don't like to be treated as if I am brainless. I like to be respected and to give respect. I like to be treated as a lady. I loved old black and white movies, especially the Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers musicals. I loved everything about them, the songs, the music, the romance, and the spectacle. They were real class and I knew that I wanted to be in that world. I loved the movies and I wanted to be like Marilyn Monroe. I thought she was so glamorous and everyone seemed to love her. I wanted to be like that and I told everyone I would be the next Marilyn Monroe. I thought it might be a good move to get into a beauty contest so I tried for Miss Pennsylvania and won. I think that helped me get noticed, at least by the people of Pennsylvania. It was not always easy because I was always an individual and found it difficult to be one of a group. One person who was very supportive was my father. My mother was great but my father really recognized my individuality and supported me in that. Many actresses do that kind of shoot when they are in their early 20s but I didn't think I had anything to worry about so I decided to go for it. I was very pleased with the results and it was also nice to surprise a few people. Nobody took me too seriously but I was grown up even as a baby. Some people work hard in this business and become really popular, really big stars but they never receive an award from within the business. Somehow, when your colleagues and friends believe in you to the point of handing you an award it means so much more. Visit our website for more quotes. Quoting.com